Another example of how the media is trying to portray people who are protesting for some measure of justice, and not just justice, frankly. I mean, this is there's systemically something wrong with the way black communities are policed. This is, again, another example of this. A Baltimore Fox affiliate in reporting on C-SPAN footage of, a, uh, of the Justice for All march in uh, Washington, D.C. from, I guess, what, about a week ago. I'm going to play a clip of what you would have heard on C-SPAN. There's a woman, and she is, uh, there's about, I don't know, uh, they're in the middle of the march. There's about a dozen people around her who are actively in the, involved in this chant. We can't stop. We won't stop till killer cops are in cell blocks. But just listen. Okay, so that's her chant there. We won't stop, we can't stop till killer cops are in cell blocks. But her accent is such that you don't necessarily know what she's saying when she says till killer cops till she finishes it in cell blocks. And somebody obviously at the Baltimore local Fox affiliate realized that. Because this is the way, and they're actually shooting a computer of the C-SPAN footage. When you hear where they cut out from the audio, you'll get why this reporter is claiming she's saying what she's saying. Listen. At this rally in Washington, D.C., participants chanted, We won't stop. We can't stop. So kill a cop. We won't stop. We won't stop. We can't stop. We can't stop. So kill a cop. The anti-police sentiment reached a turning point this weekend in New York when two officers were gunned down in cold blood. Now, so there it is. So uh, they cut out before, she says, in cell block, and, and only because you had seen the tape or heard the tape that you know that she's saying, till killer cops, not so kill a cop. And of course, they obviously knew that because they had the whole C-SPAN video. And then they pivot to this anti-cop sentiment resulted in the killing of these two cops. Not this anti-killer cop sentiment and anti insofar as they want justice, they want these people to be put in jail, <clears throat> resulted in a psychopath who had a long criminal history and had just shot his girlfriend and wanted to be famous on Instagram, went up to New York and shot two cops. So there's a perfect example of what de Blasio uh, was saying that the media is doing. And of course, this is done with an agenda. And I'll leave it to you to decide what that agenda is. To that Fox affiliate's credit, they apologize, saying, it was Sunday night. We didn't have that many heads working in the production office. That's right. <laughs> the only people we had uh, working in the production office were racists. What are you going to do? Usually we have, we like to do the balance, right? We have one racist and one non-racist doing the editing. But tonight we just had the racist in. It's Sunday night. <laughs>